गाइज टेन डेज टू गो टू हंड्रेड एंड फोर्टी आवर्स प्रिसाइसली वॉट इज गोइंग ऑन इन योर माइंड वॉट इज गोइंग ऑन इन योर हार्ट्स आई नो एग्जैक्टली दैट इज गोइंग ऑन बिकॉज आई हैव सेल द सेम बोट दैट यू गाइज आर सेलिंग राइट नाउ इट्स ओनली अ गेम ऑफ पेशेंस नाउ इट्स ओनली अ गेम ऑफ कामनेस not taking a lot of your time i will just give you a few tips and tricks that you need to remember in the last 10 days of your preparation for neet 2024 i am dr himani joshi your original guru for oral and maxillofacial surgery at dbmci mts you just have to remember four things you have all worked hard you know the answers you have read your pyqs multiple times what the examiner will do is he will take advantage of the fact that you have read your pyqs again and again and again he will put option a as the most lucrative option and he will put option c as the correct answer it will be a pyq it will be a repeated question but c will be a better answer and you who have read the pyq multiple times will jump on the option a as the answer and will make mistake so the first advice that i want to give you is don't be over confident whenever you see a repeated question in the exam it's a very very it's a human tendency to be very happy especially in the starting of the paper you see the first question it's a repeat question or you know the question very very nicely you are very happy you you will be careful in the first question you will read everything nicely you will put your finger below the questions you will put your finger below the options and you will mark very carefully you will mark it correctly second question again repeat it. third question fourth question by the time you are on the sixth or seventh question that you know you will start making silly mistakes that is when you start becoming over confident please don't do that the grand tests are made you have given the grand test all through the year just so that you know where to control yourselves so don't be over confident from today in the last 10 days whenever you are doing your gt whenever you are practicing your pyqs read through all the options again before answering your before marking a final choice of the answer you will know that you have read this paper 20 times you know the answer is b because this is the reason still read all the options that will give you a good habit of reading through the options and not you know making silly mistakes in oh i didn't read the option c that is why i marked as option a second thing don't be under confident exam usually begins with part a which is the basic sciences followed by part b which is the clinical sciences which is more of the dental subjects and part a is more of the basic first and second year subjects a lot of times our preparation is very good for the part b but we are not very strong with part a or maybe my anatomy is very good my pharma is very good but i am not so strong in patho or i am not very strong in say biochemistry there can be a chance or i am very good in part a but i am very weak at ortho the first question which comes in the exam is an ortho question or i am bad at biochemistry and the first question which comes is on bitot spots due to vitamin a deficiency don't lose hope there is a chance that question 1 you don't know question 2 you don't know question 3 you don't know it's okay it cannot be that you don't know any of the 240 questions like i said it's a game of patience don't start having anxiety don't get anxious 
इट इज एब्सोल्युटली ओके इफ यू डोंट नो अ फ्यू क्वेश्चन इवन एट द बिगिनिंग ऑफ द एग्जाम यू कैन मेक मिस्टेक्स वेन यू नो ऑल द आंसर्स सो यू कैन इवन मेक मिस्टेक वेन यू डोंट नो अ फ्यू आंसर्स डोंट गेट एंक्शियस डोंट गेट अंडर कॉन्फिडेंट टेक अ डिफिकल्ट पेपर एंड स्टार्ट सॉल्विंग इट इन द लास्ट टेन डेज यू विल नॉट नो अ फ्यू क्वेश्चन इट्स एब्सोल्युटली ओके you don't have to lose your confidence at that point in the exam so many students come out and say ma'am first few questions were so difficult that i was depressed and then i only went to the washroom or i only had the hunger cramps i was only hypoglycemic throughout the exam and i fainted and i performed really bad i don't want this kind of you know situation so remember in the beginning of the exam or even in the middle of the exam maybe a few questions are very easy you know them but in the middle suddenly very difficult questions come up or in the end maybe there are 50 questions which you don't know it's okay if it is difficult if it is it is difficult for everybody if it is easy the competition is still the same it's going to be easy for everyone all right so just don't be under confident keep your calm keep moving quickly come back to the question which you don't know think about it once take a calculated risk as to how many questions you can mark and move ahead all right so don't be under confident third important tip don't worry about part a part a is expected to be tough okay it can be very very easy in that case it's a party for all of you but in case part a is difficult don't worry it is meant to be difficult when you come to your third years of your bds you start doing things clinically you start doing things practically and that is how you gain knowledge but there are some factual things that might skip off your mind so if you are not remembering answers in part a during your preparation also don't worry about it it's not that you leave it no you should not leave it you do remember them you try and do you try and perform things that you make a table you make a chart you stick your chart you read it again and again you try and remember as many things as you can but don't worry about it worrying about part a will only worsen things do it nicely don't worry about it okay i'll give you a small example in our times there used to be a lot of questions from gynecology on placenta previa on breech presentation and we had absolutely no clue of what the examiner wants to ask we used to only mug up the answers that is the thing which i did i didn't care i thought if the exam if the question comes exactly like it is i will mug the answer because i have rectified it otherwise i am going to leave it so just stay calm about part a all right this is not the situation anymore you will always have questions that are related to your subjects still if they are difficult don't worry fourth important thing that you have to remember is don't make mistakes in part b part a to lightly le liya part b ko lightly nahi lena hai in the last 10 days this is 100 marks this is 140 marks you have to take part b very very seriously out of the 30000 people that will be giving the exam there will be a lot of situations where the scores will be equal the tie breaker will mainly depend on two things who has done less negatives and who has done part b better don't take any dental subject lightly part b is very very important to keep you in the race part a will decide your rank but part b will decide whether you are even in the race of top 200 or not so don't make mistakes in any repeated topics from part b the most important part of your preparation that i have always told you that pyq is the most important part of your preparation pyq means previous year questions previous year topics 
don't make mistakes in repeat questions negative marking in pyq you are directly out of the race if your race is for the top 10 ranks you are out of the race as soon as you start making many mistakes in the pyq if your race is to be qualified and you make mistakes in pyqs you might not get qualified negative marking is still acceptable if it is a new question if it is a very difficult question or if it is a question from part a negative marking from part b from the repeated topics that are repeated from the pyqs is not acceptable you cannot make mistakes in pyqs even if the option is twisted even if the language of the question is twisted so these are the only five things i told you four things because three and four i was trying to say combined total together so these are the things that you have to remember in the last 10 days of your preparation for NEET 2024. It might sound that mom is giving so many instructions, she's telling so many things. Relax. Just remember these things. You are, I'm sure most of you are already doing it. Most of you are already following this strategy. But just do it a little more patiently. It's all about finding a calm in this chaos. And remember, you are not alone. Everybody is in the same boat. So relax. Keep your studies going on. I wish all the best to all of you for a great result in NEET 2024. All the best.